Right, let's go to Lima and speak now to Farid Tahat. Uh, he's a professor of international relations at the Pontifical Catholic University of Peru. Welcome to the program. Um, so, Pedro Castillo is fairly new. Uh, it's his first time holding national office. What do you expect from this president? Well, he didn't have much time to arrange the transition because of the fraud allegations you, you mentioned. And uh, he hasn't have a cabinet yet. I mean, he's taking office today, but his cabinet would take uh, office uh, on Friday. So it has been pretty hectic and, um, I would say, disorganized so far. Um, and uh, he has an opposition that is not particularly constructive. Part of the opposition has called uh, quite loudly for a coup against him. Uh, even before he took office. So it would it would be a rough uh, start, mm -hmm. but uh, he has a couple of things going for him. The rate of vaccination has improved uh, significantly lately, and uh, the economy is recovering. So it's a mixed picture. And do you think that he will last? Because Peru has had uh, five presidents in five years, and he doesn't have that many seats uh, in parliament. Yes, and he didn't achieve uh, an alliance that could give him, uh, give the president's party a control of Congress. Uh, actually, Congress is in the hands of the opposition now. Uh, so my guess is that uh, the first uh, year would be decisive. If he can survive it, uh, he might have a chance to stay for the whole five-year period. But, uh, I mean, not only there have been calls for a coup even before he took office, there have been already calls for vacating him. I mean, uh, we, we have a, something similar to American uh, impeachment. And uh, we had already to president the post uh, through that means. So, uh, it, my, as, as I say, I think it's a matter of seeing what goes on in the first few months. That would give us a, a, okay. a clearer picture of his, uh, I mean, what can happen next. Indeed. And what do you think uh, his first order of business should be in those first few months, his priorities? Well, the Delta variant of the COVID, the, the, of the virus that causes COVID-19 is already uh, in Colombia. So it might be a matter of days before it, uh, it's uh, found in Peru. And we will have a third round of the pandemic probably uh, next month. So that's uh, the utmost priority without any doubt. And how are people um, reacting to, to having a new president? Well, um, the country is still divided. He won by a little bit over 50 percent of the vote in the second uh, presidential round of elections. And uh, his uh, approval rating is around the same uh, margin. Uh, so it's a pretty divided country, and I don't see that changing in the near future. Farid Kahat Kahat speaking to us from Lima. Thank you very much indeed. You're welcome.